she was actually waving to me. I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear, held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her and she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk. And Kamala Harris mocked these Christians for saying that Jesus is Lord. And the full interview that you're about to witness will tell you everything you need to know concerning this story. There's a lot, happened that, a lot that happened off camera uh, that we said at the protest. After she talked about overturning Roe v. Wade and Donald Trump, I yelled out to the crowd that abortion is the sacrament of Satan. And when I said that, I deeply do believe that as a Christian. And about 10 seconds go by, and that's when the video of uh, my friend Grant and I uh, proclaiming that Christ is Lord and Jesus is King, uh, when we said that. And I think it's important to say this is a small venue, and we're about 20 to 30 yards away from Kamala at this point. There's a lot of controversy that says she wasn't talking to us or we laughed we didn't get kicked out. Well, I can speak on Grant's and I's behalf um, on video. Grant's getting pushed and shoved. And um, there's about five seconds after or, or before she tells us to go to a smaller rally down the street. You can see on the video she waves. She waves. She was actually waving to me. I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear, and as we were getting asked to leave, um, I held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her, and she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk. And um, yeah, I just want to clear that up and confirm that she 100% was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And there's other controversy that says we left. Um, we were getting shouted at, pushed, assaulted, um, screamed at, so we were walking away. But there was about three um, attendees there, volunteers, that kicked us out with press, with badges or whatever they had. Kamala Harris wasn't just making fun of those Christians. She is mocking the very foundation of our faith, the biblical truth that we all stand upon, that God made us in his image, in his likeness, and that all of us, no matter what color we are or how old we are or how big or small, deserve the right to life. And if you claim to know Christ, you need to do everything within your power to spread this message of who Kamala Harris is actually as a person instead of who she claims to be and share this video send these photos to as many family members and friends as you possibly know because this is what an a-b-o-r-t-i-o-n actually looks like this is what kamala harris wants to fight for and if you believe that all are created equal if you believe in the love of god you will do everything within your power to not only vote no on all the amendments amendments in november that want to give the right to eliminate life up until birth gabe i know it's wrong but who would i be to tell a woman what to do with her body. Well, of course, you see the photo you're seeing right now was actually found by my friend AJ Hurley underneath the headquarters of Planned Parenthood in Washington, DC. Photos of these kids that were 25, 30 weeks old that are being completely eliminated only out of convenience for the mother. The truth of this matter is it's not just a mother's body. That is another human being. And the solution to anyone's problems is not the elimination of life. It's not just throw the baby away. Instead, we are called to support these mothers. We are called to stand for life. And just like if you lived in Virginia when slavery was occurring in the 1800s, you could have said, well, it's not my land. I'm not a slave owner. So who would I be to tell another slave owner what to do with his land, his land, his choice, right? His rights. It's the same type of argument. If you actually cared for slaves at the time, you would speak up for them. You would tell slave owners that they need to stop the elimination. When the Holocaust was happening in Germany, you would obviously take a stand for the millions of Jews that were being eliminated. You didn't have to be Jewish yourself to understand that wrong is wrong.